Many folks have had an issue with their DL32R mixer where the ribbon cable becomes loose with use and some of the channels become noisy or don't work at all. I didn't see any videos on how to do this, so that's what this video here is for. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a oscillator tone to use as a test signal. And the way to do that is to go in here to the input A matrix and you can see oscillator here on the first line. I'm going to assign that to channel 2, go over to oscillator and switch the oscillator on. Now you can see I've got an oscillator tone coming here on channel 2 at 440 hertz which is the frequency that I've specified. What I've done is gone through and made sure the gain is the same on each of the first seven aux channels. Aux 1, aux 2, and etc. So first we're going to plug in a, a speaker to the output of aux 7 in order to hear that tone. And you can see the level's nice We'll go through and do 6, that's fine, 5 is fine, 4 is fine, 3 also is fine. You hear how 2 is weak. And 1 is weak. In addition, you might notice that if we turn it up, it sounds kind of distorted. turn up, say, aux 3, it just gets louder. Okay, so the first step we're going to do here, after turning off that annoying tone, which scares the dog, is we're going to take the top off the case here and identify which ribbon cable it might be. Now before disassembling your unit, I would recommend strongly that you turn off the power and disconnect the IEC power cord. For demonstration purposes, I'm leaving the power established so we can identify the proper ribbon cables that we need to to deal with. Once again, I apologize. I don't recall all of the screws that will need to be removed, so I'm going to do these ones on the side next to see if they are required. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to aux 1, which was the worst one, and see if we can identify which red ribbon cable it might be. stronger on three. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the correct one. So I'm going to get some cleaner deoxit or similar and try to reseat this. Once again, I'd like to state that you 
disconnect power before cleaning your own. Hopefully watching this video you will be able to identify the cable or cables that are giving you issues. I'm guessing that this, this one here is all of the outputs. Okay, so I'm going to set the settings the same between the auxes. You can see how this one here is at minus 4.4 and minus 4.1. I hope this video helped you. I'm going to reassemble and uh, get ready for another busy season.